Hello friend, welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Design Adda. In this video, we will discuss about the surface finish and the surface finish symbols. Okay, so generally the surface finish is a term uh, used for to describe the texture of the surface. You can see here in the picture different texture are shown. So uh, sometimes the surface is a uh, flat one, but if you see under the microscope. Uh, the waviness or the ups and downs you can see on the surface so the here you can see the ups and downs here okay for the rough surface but for the waviness uh, wavy surface you can see uh, one uh, uh, big ups and down is there so the difference is there so this surface is called as uh, wavy surface and the waviness okay and this uh, is the roughness okay because uh, there is a not much difference between the uh, adjacent uh, texture okay so the surface finish is to describe the texture of the surface okay and generally uh, on the drawing on the on the surface we uh, shown the symbol on the drawing okay so the requirement for the surface finish are frequently found on the technical drawings for mechanical parts particularly where the part fit uh, fit together tightly and move against each other or form a seal so generally uh, uh, we require the finishing surface for a particular application like uh, if the two parts are uh, fitting together tightly at that time we require the good surface finishing okay and if the um, if both the parts are moving to each other then also we require the good surface finish okay and for the sealing purpose also if you see here in the picture so you can see the uh, different texture on the surface okay so uh, here you can see the it is uh, shown under the means uh, uh, symbol here okay triangular symbol and also some uh, finishing grade is there in n10 n9 n8 n7 and also uh, written in the value also so these are the three different way we can uh, we can represent the uh, finishing okay so here you can see in the horizontal meaning we are getting the uh, surface finishing like this in end meaning uh, some fine finishing is there on the lathe we are getting the like this surface finish on the sur uh, surface grinding so grinding finish we are getting the uh, mm, means a good surface finishing here so like this we uh, these are the surface finish uh, patterns are shown here okay and if we see here for the casting here the surface finishing is shown here from the fine surface finishing to the this one is a coarse or the rough uh, finishing okay and it is uh, generally the surface finishing is uh, in is under the means uh, in micrometer it is uh, uh, shown okay so here now we will discuss the nomenclature of surface texture so you can uh, see here the uh, picture or the diagram you can see so this uh, uh, ups and downs is, is on the top surface if you see under the surface under the microscope you will get this type of profile or the roughness uh, of the surface okay so the surface finish is uh, composed of three distinct element means uh, roughness lay and the waviness okay so here you can see okay so lay means is the direction of the texture okay and the waviness we discussed it's a uh, one big uh, big change in the uh, surface okay means complete up and down it's a waviness okay and uh, complete uh, uh, complete texture is nothing but the uh, roughness of the uh, surface okay and now surface roughness is nothing but the micro irregularities in the surface okay and uh, roughness height if you see here okay the roughness height is shown here so average of roughness uh, deviation and it is measured in the micrometer okay and the roughness width it is a distance parallel to the nominal surface between the adjacent peak okay so here you can see the adjacent peak and the roughness width okay next one is the sampling length okay so generally we we will not check complete surface uh, some portion we will check 
and that uh, portion we are checking the surf, uh, roughness is the sampling length okay so it is a particular length of the profile decided to evaluate the arithmetic average deviation okay so suppose and checking from here to here surface roughness okay so it is a uh, sampling length and next one is the waviness okay as we already discussed it is a, uh, it is also a Ill irregularity in the surface having the having the wider spacing than the sampling length okay so wider spacing uh, here so from you can see here uh, from uh, it is a wider than the uh, sampling length waviness width and next one is the uh, waviness head okay so the waviness head you can see it is also greater than the roughness head okay so it is the distance from the peak to the valley of the waves and it is major in the millimeter okay so roughness it is major in the micrometer and it is uh, waviness it is major in the millimeter and waviness width is it is the distance between the adjacent peak or valley of the wave and it is measured in the millimeter and lay okay so as i already said the lay is the pattern on the surface and the orientation of the pattern so it shows the direction of the finishing okay you can see here and the lay is originally produced by the manufacturing process okay so uh, on the turning you will get the different uh, uh, different types of layers so uh, i'll show you one picture in that you can understand the types of lay we are getting okay so flaw is there flaw is nothing but the some irregularity that occur in the surface due to some cracks blow holes uh, uh, ridges and scratches okay you can see here flaw okay so there are no finishing symbol for the flaw okay special note sh should be indicated on the drawing where no flaw is permitted so generally there is a, uh, uh, there is no indication for the flaw we represent on the drawing generally if we uh, represent only the roughness value on the surface okay and we use the uh, roughness symbol for that but for the flaw we add the one note uh, that uh, on the drawing flaw is not permitted so here you can see the general roughness symbol so first one is the basic graphical symbol so you can see here basic graphical symbol for the surface texture okay and here one line is added and it is it is for the removal of material requirement means here we will remove the material okay but here if you see the uh, removal of the material is not permitted okay uh, it is in the rounded portion means uh, it is all around the all the uh, surfaces so you can see here it is on the all the surfaces it is applicable and this symbol is uh, called as a all around symbol and uh, here uh, let's discuss this surface roughness symbol in uh, uh, detail and the compartment is like that a b c d e okay so a is a roughness value okay so here we uh, represent the roughness value in the micrometer okay and the roughness limit or the grade number generally it is a roughness value or you can add with a symbol and also you can uh, mention here the grade also okay uh, next one is the b b is the production method okay the milling is their lathe like that we uh, mention here the production method okay and see the sampling length okay so here we will mention the uh, sampling length so uh, uh, to how much length we are measuring the uh, surface finishing so here we will mention the sampling length and d is nothing but the direction of the lay and e is nothing but the machining allowance and f is your other roughness value if uh, we have some additional roughness here we will add here so here you can see the direction of lay okay so these are the direction of lay textures we are getting on the different types of the uh, machining or the different types of the uh, manufacturing process okay so here you can see the parallel direction of lay here is a perp means perpendicular or the cross 
and here a cross is there and this one is a multi-directional and this one is a concentric on the lathe if you see the face turbine is there at that time concentric uh, we will get okay so it is a radiational and it is a non-directional so this cross or directional lay you can generally see on the knurling so also here you can see the different types of the uh, direction of lay same he it is a uh, same is there okay but it is written on the uh, shown with the uh, symbol like uh, m is a multi-directional x is the cross directional perpendicular parallel uh, radical is a concentric like that okay so here you can see here so this is the actual size of the actual size of the uh, this uh, shaft but after machining so after machining we will get this is the surface and the surface requirement is a turning operation after that turning operation and here it is a all around symbol is there means to the all surface we will machine and we will need the surface finishing okay and it is the indication of machining allowance so it is a here 3 mm is the machining allowance means 3 mm we will cut the material okay and all around okay so like that so now these are the different position and the orientation of the graphical symbol and its annotation you can see uh, how we represent these machining symbol on the surface of the components so you can see here okay some on the chromium plating is there uh, indicated and on, on above here representing the machining symbol like on the drawings okay and yeah these are the some more pictures i captured here uh, where we represented the uh, machining symbols so here the on the three different way we can show the uh, roughness value on the machining symbol so here it is a uh, in the value also we can uh, uh, use uh, to uh, for the uh, roughness value we can add on the surface finishing symbol also we can use the grade system okay and also we can use the roughness uh, symbols also so this triangular symbol so a different company uses the different method uh, if you it is a 50, uh, 50 uh, micrometer and 25 half half you can uh, go and you can you will get the uh, means uh, uh, surface finishing and like that it is half 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 and after that n12 n11 n10 like that up to n1 okay so if you go from top to down you, will, uh, you are going from rough surface finishing to the fine surface finishing okay so like that uh, so for a 50 micrometer the symbol is like this then one triangle then two triangle three triangle and the four triangle from uh, uh, 50 micrometer to the uh, 50, uh, 50 micrometer sing, uh, means this symbol used and from uh, 25 micrometer to the 12.5 uh, micrometer one triangular symbol after that 6.3 to 1.6 it is a two triangular symbol like that we will you uh, we, we will indicate these values uh, here we will indicate we will indicate here okay this roughness value okay here we will indicate and a machining allows here we will indicate this machining allows and this uh, you can see here this machining allows okay 3 mm cut is there cut and and here you can see the process turning process is there so it is an additional roughness value okay so like this so this surface finishing uh, we uh, surface finishing symbol we use on the uh, engineering drawings uh, for the uh, requirement of the uh, surface uh, roughness okay so generally this surface uh, finishing symbol it comes under category of uh, geometric dimensioning and tolerance gdnt so there are two types of tolerance yes is are there one is the size tolerance or the dimensional tolerance are, and second one is the geometrical tolerances are there so this uh, surface finishing symbol comes under the uh, geometric tolerance uh, and dimensioning if you see here the different manufacturing process you will get the different types of finishing here okay so for the sand casting generally we will get the surface finishing from uh, 5 macro uh, macro uh, meter to the 50 macrometer okay so like that 
for the different manufacturing process we'll get the different surface finishing uh, that's it for this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon thank you for watching see you in the next video